Hi, welcome to DIY J Multimedia. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to manipulate this image by closing the mouth. Um, I mean by closing my mouth. I'm the one in the photo. I took this image in Medina, Saudi Arabia, courtesy of Kiblatain International Travels and Tour. Are you planning to travel to Aj or Umura? Kiblatain International Travels and Tour is your best blog. So find their details in the description of this video. So let's get to the photo manipulation video. I'm going to zoom closely to the mouth area. Now I'm going to restrain the mouth area with any of your selection tools. So I'm going to use the lasso tool to select the mouth area like so. So after making the selection, press Command J on Mac or Control J on your Windows to, to make a copy of this selection. As you can see on my layer, I have um, layer 1 that is showing what I just select, which is the mouth area. So now I'm going to add this background layer so that I can be able to walk without any confusion with the selected uh, mouth area. So I'm going to zoom closely to the mouth area. So first thing I'm going to do now is to get rid of these teeth. So now I'm going to use my lasso tool to select the teeth area like so. Select. So just make sure you leave some rooms above your selection. So I'm going to select like so. Now I'm going to right click on the selection to feather the selection right click and you click on feather so i'm going to feather with five pixels so i'm going to click on ok now i'm going to delete the selection which is going to get rid of the teeth like so so i'm going to press ctrl d to deselect the selection now our next step is to separate the upper lips from the lower lips so i'm going to still use my lasso tool like so So now I'm going to press Ctrl plus Shift plus J to cut the selected part on a new layer or Command plus Shift plus J on your Mac. Command plus Shift plus J. This will cut the upper layer from the lower layer. So as you can see now we have two layers above our background layer. So I'm going to name the first um, the upper layer which is this one up I'm going to name it upper lips or upper lips so as you can see this is the upper lips and this is the lower lips so I'm going to rename this as the lower lips or bottom lips So now I'm going to select the upper lips and I'm going to go to edit, click on edit and click on puppet warp. So um, I'm going to zoom closely a little bit. So now I don't want the, the, um, the edges of my lips to move so I'm going to lock it with the puppet lips by clicking on the part I don't want to move at all. It will enable me to lock that part so like so and I think uh, like so and this other one I'm going to lock this edge and this edge so I'm going to add another mark at the center maybe at the side and somewhere here so now what I'm going to do is click and drag this downward, adjust this other one, adjust this. So we don't want to move this other part, you see that they are just still, they are not moving, just the ones I want to move is what is moving.
so so we are going to repeat the same process on the bottom lips so when you're done just click on the check button on the done button to so I'm going to go to the bottom the same process click on edit and you click on puppet wrap so I'm going to lock the edge of the lips lock this part somewhere here okay here so I'm going to add another point at the center then the sides so now I'm going to drag this up drag this you drag this drag this and let's go so add another one here. So now I'm going to select the upper lips, click on filter, and you click on liquefy. So I'm just going to use my liquefy to, you can zoom in, just to overlap the lips on each other a little bit. So if you're not seeing this transparent, just click on show back backdrop like this. So now I'm just going to drag this a little bit down, down, down. Down, down, down. So I'm going to click on OK and I'm, I'm going to repeat the same process for the bottom layer. Click on the bottom layer, come to filter, liquefy. So I'm going to zoom in. So just bob it up a little bit. Bob it up, bob it up, bob it up, bob it up, bob it up. Like so. So now I'm going to click on OK. So now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to review our background layer, which is the original image, like so. So we need to adjust, we need to clean up our image. As you can see, my lips my lips are closed, but we need to do a little cleanup. So I'm first I'm going to click on the upper layer and I'm going to add a layer max. Make sure your foreground is set to black. Then you click on the brush tool, reduce your brush size, and now you paint on it like so. Like so, like so, like so, like so. Like so. Like so. so the same thing for the bottom layer. Click on the bottom layer. Add a layer max. Make sure your foreground is set to black. Then click on the brush tool. So there's some lines showing here. I need to get rid of those lines. There's some lines showing here too. Get rid of them. So I'm going to zoom closely to see some imperfection in this image. If you look at the top of my lips, you see there are some sharp lines, which I'm going to max out with the brush tool. So click on the maxed um, layer and select your brush to make sure your foreground is set to is set to black. Then you just get rid of those lines.
so now I take my image looks perfect and okay so that'll be all for now and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel DIY J Multimedia for more interesting videos thank you for watching